Hello everyone, it is Princess underscore Manny4 and welcome back to my weight loss journey. As of today, which is March 15th, 2021, it has been three months since I've had my weight loss surgery and life has been difficult, but at the same time it hasn't. So let's start off with the important thing that y'all really care about. I weigh 226 pounds, so 6.8. And um... I don't remember. I know I lost a total of, it was 42.6 pounds, I think. So probably 43 pounds, um, basically, I think, for my highest weight. And then from my surgery, it's been 35. And they say they want a, an average supposed to, a average person is supposed to lose 10 pounds per month after they have weight loss surgery. So I've done that in just 15 pounds, I guess. So yeah, um, I had a doctor's appointment on the 12th. And basically, yeah, so it says blood pressure 128 over 74, BMI is 38.43, my weight was 227, my height is 54.5, um, my pulse was 63, respiration 16, stuff like that. But yeah, I went up in there and they basically just asked me some questions, like, and they weren't even really as many questions as I thought they were going to ask, they were just like... How's everything going? Any pain? How's the incisions? Okay, bye-bye. But we talked about the last time I was there, which was in January, I believe, they took labs. And so they took lab work. And then apparently, uh, like, certain things were low, and they didn't give me medication for it. So now here I am three months later, and now I'm going to get medication for it. So it's called thymine. It's vitamin B1. Apparently, that was, like, really low. And I was supposed to be, like, given medicine for it. But now I think my grandmother's going to go get it today. So I'm going to be taking that for three months. And then I go back in June. And I had to get my lab work done before then so they can make sure that it came back up. So that's that. Um. Also, just to say this, I will not be doing, doing these updates every month. Now I'm going to do it every three months. So now it's March. So it'll be in June. Then it will be in September. And then it will be... In December, and that will probably be my last update until like maybe two years, maybe three years. I don't know, but yeah. So I, I have a lot of lab work to get done, but I don't have to get my lab work done until May. I think that's basically it. So I'm gonna give you all a list of my medications. So I will be getting the thiamine, then I have the B complex, I have the coral calcium, I have the vitamin B12. It's called, okay, so this one's called famotidine, which is, I told y'all about the stomach ulcers. I think I have, like, two more days, and then I'm done with that. Because remember, I came home on the 17th. I think you start taking it the day after. So, yeah. Then we have my hydroxazine, lilata, whatever. Um, then I take my gummy vitamins, and then I have my vitamin D. So, that was what I take every day. And if you know, I put them in here. So I already took my calcium and my, the one for stomach ulcers, and then I have my two gummy vitamins. Wait, let me do this one here. Two gummy vitamins. Then I have my B-complex vitamin, which I will be starting to take the regular B-complex after I get done with these vitamins. Because if you remember, it's kind of hard to take pills when you can only take a sip of water. And when I tried to take the pill, I felt sick. Like, I really felt like I was going to pass out. So I was like, no, we're going to get gummy vitamins. So that's what I did for that. And then we have my hydroxazine. And we have my vitamin D in there. Then we have my stool softener, the stomach ulcer one again, and the calcium. So basically, that's how you're going to, have to take it for the rest of your life. Take your pills three times a day, which, I mean, at this point, I'm used to it. So I'm not really worried about it. Here's my breakfast, by the way. Probably out of daily. Word. Sorry for the cutoff. I got a call and it stopped the video. But, um, yeah, not really, again, not that really much of an update, but I actually wrote down I made a little list called my weight loss journey. I'm not going to read it off right now. But from last month, I was 235. Now I'm 226. So I'm proud of that. Like, And another thing, so here's what I'm going to talk about. I work out three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There will be a video going up in the future. I don't know really right now. But it's um, I work out on the Wii. If you know what the Wii is, it's, it was a white console that was basically out back in the day. And I still have it. And I use a little workout thing on there. So I do various exercises. I do from like the stepper. I do like a hula hoop thing, which you know is that's moving everything. I do like a walking thing. I do like a kung fu thing. So all those things are just a form of movement. And also, 
I don't go on walks right now because like I said, I have a extreme phobia of bugs. So I'm not gonna put myself through that. So it's like if we sometimes we'll go to like a farmer's market, we'll walk around, you go shopping, you walk around. Every weekend we're either cleaning up this house or cleaning up my great grandmother's house. So everything you do is a form of movement. Well, if you move, it's a form of exercise. So lifting, moving, walking, that's exercise. So starting on April 1st, I have this new workout routine that I want to, um, that I'm going to start. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But yeah, there's not really that much of an update because I don't know, not much has happened. But let me find this quick workout thing before I get another call. So this book is so full. Now here we go. New workout routine. So for me, the week starts on Monday. I mean on Sunday, so everybody's different. So Sunday will be my rest day. Monday, I'm going to do a 20-minute walk, either outside if it's cold or inside on the Wii on a stepper for 20 minutes. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to do... I skipped Wednesday. <laughs> I just realized I wrote this. I completely skipped Wednesday. Anyway, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will do squats, three sets of 10. Donkey kicks, three sets of 10. So exercise called bird dog, three sets of 10. So that's that. So that's, what is that, 30, 60, 90? Yeah. So those are going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays will be the 20-minute walk on the Wii or outside, like I said. Then on Saturday will be my yoga day. So I'm going to do the easy pose, the child's pose, warrior one, supine twist, and savasana, whatever. So that is my new workout routine. When I start doing it, of course, I will film a video for it. I don't know how, though, because it's not all on the same day. But, yeah. So that's that. But, um, I mean, obviously what I'm doing right now is obviously seems to be working because I'm losing weight still. Maybe not as much as some people, but I'm proud because think about it, I have not weighed this little in so long. I'm so proud of myself. And another thing, I haven't been eating that well. And that just goes from not having much stuff in the house. Like, for breakfast, I'm, I'm lately I've been trying to have, I bought this yogurt. I'll buy this again because they're not the best. I don't really like yogurt, but it's small and it fills me up. So, hey. Um, and I'm trying to use the Slim Fast, which they said they don't really want you drinking the Slim Fast because it has like too much sugar. But one Slim Fast a day is not going to hurt you, so I'm still going to do my Slim Fast. I'm not, I'm not going to force myself to drink those Premier Proteins or all those. Those are disgusting. So yeah, like I said, I'm obviously doing something right because I'm losing weight. So, and for lunch, I don't know. Like at this point, it's really not something that I can say I quote unquote have for lunch because for me, whereas my older self before I had surgery, I could eat something every day. Like I could have pizza, not pizza, something that you can have every day. Like I could have grits every day for breakfast, Monday through Sunday, whatever, whatever. But now I can't do that. My stomach doesn't really like leftovers as much. So after I have it for a few days, my stomach is like, nah, I don't want it no more. So yeah, that's the hard thing. Cause then you got to have multiple things and stuff like, um, turkey lunch meat goes bad. So it's like, okay, I got to eat that every day till it's gone because if not, it's going to go bad. And it's the same thing with milk. So I don't really know. One day I will do a grocery vlog or like a whatever, a grocery haul. And I will show you the things that I have. But lunch right now is just iffy. Like sometimes it may just be chips. Like I know it's not the best, but the good thing is I can't eat that many of them. And another thing for dinner, dinner is whatever. It's like a piece of chicken or it's like... What else we have? Like sometimes we cook like chili, veggie chili, because I don't eat meat really, and stuff like that. But yeah, and then I do have a snack every night. And it's like, so sometimes it can range from a little ice cream cone. Then I had like a brownie last night, half of a brownie. I'm about to throw them out because they're disgusting. Um, ice cream, just like regular ice cream. I have pop tarts. Like I know this stuff is not that healthy. I know. But it's like, I mean, like I always said, I'm going to live my life and I'm not going to have the rest of my life not be able to have fun and eat sweets. Like I said, like I said, my dad had this, he had the gastric bypass. He ate horrible sometimes. Like he would have like four sodas a day. And this is after surgery, four sodas a day, like sweets all day. Wouldn't really eat much. There's something in my eye. But yeah, and I'm not saying, oh, whatever he does, I have to do too. No, I'm just saying. 
it's just if you work out it's fine you know because my dad always said you know why i work out and i'm like why he's like i work out so i can eat my sweets and i'm like that makes sense like i'm not really a soda person i haven't had soda in so long so like i have these um coke zero and i try when they say you can have soda it says it has to be like a diet or like a coke zero or whatever so you can have that you just can't have regular soda and i don't really like soda no more i don't know if it's just because it's a coke zero or is it just I haven't had it in so long, but I shouldn't have it because you see my face is breaking out. So I'm not going to really have soda anyway. But yeah, one thing I do need to do is obviously eat fuller meals because I feel like I'm, I'm eating chips. I'm not full. Like I'm full for the moment and then like a little bit later I'm not. And I also need to drink more water. I drank one of these a day. So that's why I actually I was supposed to start today, yesterday because yesterday Sunday. I like to start new stuff on a Sunday. Don't ask me why. So tonight I'm going to fill up my 32, I bought a 64 ounce thing of water, that's almost too big. So I'm going to fill up my 32 ounces of thing of water. And if I can just start drinking that for a long time, then I can eventually just drink it and then fill it back up. So yeah, I do need to drink more water and working out I think is fine. I work out for three times a week, 30 minutes, I think that's fine. And I have a new workout routine coming up. But yeah, so that is the update I... I'm really proud of myself. I actually, like I said, if you asked me in a, like a few years ago, well, last year when I started this project, did I think I was ever going to lose weight anytime soon? I would have told you no because I honestly wouldn't. I couldn't lose weight. So, yeah. So, this video is going out today. I'm going to post a picture of my stomach. I have like two pictures of my stomach, three pictures, I think, of my stomach. Uh, my incisions look good. I think they look like they did last time. They're They're all healed over. They're just still like red. And obviously, if I ever go out over the summer and wear a bikini, I would have to wear sunscreen on them. But don't worry, I'm not wearing a bikini. So, <laughs> but yeah. But um, like I said, this will be the last update until June 15th. There may be stuff in between. Obviously, if I post like a workout routine, I'm going to put it in the playlist. If I post like a what I eat in the day, I will post that in the playlist because that all has something to do with weight loss journey. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you watch my journey, like, thank you so much. Because I never, like I said, I never thought I would have ever been doing this journey in my life. And, like, I'm really proud of myself. And the thing is, what she just means, if you actually really, really, really want to do something, you can do it, you know. If you don't have the motivation and you don't have, like, the, uh, I don't know, the gumption, it won't happen. And it's like, I was motivated because, trust me. When I was told to go back to doing a three-day, like, full liquid diet, I need to talk about that real quick. I Sometimes I eat, I get a weird pain on the left side of my stomach, and I don't know what it is. So, so sometimes I'm, like, scared that I stretched my stomach out. So I, I found this thing. It's called a five-day pouch reset. I think the first day is all just liquids. So it's, like, unsweetened tea, I guess, decaf coffee, and water, basically, and, like, water with um the stuff you can put in there. And then the second day is like, I think three protein shakes and then like the third day. So it's stuff like that. It's five days. I'm going to do that. I just don't know when, basically. Because another thing that happens is you buy food at the store. You have to eat it before it goes bad. So that's the bad thing about it. And if I don't eat for five days, so I will be doing that. Maybe I'll film a video about that. But it's called a pouch reset. So if you feel like your stomach has stretched out. And the only symptoms that I can say that I have is the pain in my stomach. And also the fact that I'm like always hungry sometimes. Like I can drink water and I won't be hungry no more. But I'm going to tell you how annoying it is going to sleep at 1230 and your stomach growling. So that's annoying. I don't know why that is. Like maybe it's because I'm not eating enough food. But then it's like I can't eat enough food. Like I try to eat like a good meal. But I can't because I can't eat that much it's just it's a weird dilemma so i will be doing a five day pouch reset to reset my stomach and then hopefully i the pain will go away and then yeah well, thank you guys so much for watching please make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on notification bell to know when i post share this video with your friends and please watch all my videos in my weight loss journey playlist because if you're going through the same thing that's why i made these videos bye bye guys see you in june